PE in the classroom. Oh my god, that one smells. <laughs> Good afternoon class, Coach Sibbles here. We're going to be talking about flexibility today. Does anybody know the definition of flexibility? Yes, Morgan. The ability to move your joints in full range of motion. That was very good. A joint's ability to move freely through a full and normal range of motion. That's very impressive. Okay, everyone's flexibility is different uh, because of differences in muscle length and joints and such and things like that. Does anyone know how many types of flexibility there are? Four. I say minus one. How many flexibility types are there? Three. Hey, three. Good job. There is dynamic flexibility. Static. Static. stretching. What other kinds are there? Static. Static. The last one. I I like to. It's called static passive flexibility. Oh, I knew that. <clears throat> Dynamic flexibility, also known as kinetic flex flexibility, it's the ability to perform dynamic movements of the muscles to bring a limb through its full range of muscle of motion through the joints. So that's pretty much moving to stretch instead of just standing around, like doing high knees, butt kicks, things of that sort. Then there is I get the, my papers here. Static, static active flexibility. What is that? Let me just read it for you. Was it standing and stretching? Standing and stretching. Pretty much, okay. It's the actual definition is the ability to assume and maintain extended positions using only tension of the agonist and synergist while the ant or the antagonists are being stretched. So pretty much standing and stretching. And static passive flexibility. Do you have a partner? Right? Um, somebody, like laying your back, flex your Cash. Kind of, it's close. Sure. This one is the ability to assume extended positions and then maintain them using only your weight. So, uh, instead of using a partner, you use an apparatus. Like a wall. Like a wall, or in this picture, get a picture of this. It's like going beyond your normalness. Oh, wow. And using only your body weight to support it. So she she looks comfortable. She, she actually does look surprisingly. It's weird. Yeah. Okay, now that you know the three types of flexibility, we're going to take about 10 minutes to practice these types of flexibility. So we're going to go outside and practice these flexibilities. Come on!